Uh, so centripetal acceleration is a situation that's going to come up again as you're doing uh, Newton's law problems. And it's uh, also going to be um, one where it's good for you to learn to recognize uh, the centripetal problems and situations that involves the centripetal motion or centripetal acceleration. So by the way, centripetal acceleration, it is covered in chapter two of your textbook. It's covered at the very end. Um, um, sorry, chapter four, <laughs> covered at the very end, uh, uniform circular motion. And this is, you know, I don't ask people to memorize a lot of formulas. This is the one formula I, that I do ask people to memorize because it's kind of uh, unintuitive to derive it. It takes a lot of work. So um, A, centripetal acceleration is equal to V squared over R. That's something you should have memorized. <laughs> It'll come in useful from time to time. So please memorize it. So let me just uh, show you the setup for this and how you would uh, recognize that this is a centripetal acceleration setup. So let me just paste it here. Um, so, I mean, reading it, you might not uh, think it's uh, what centripetal. I don't see anything circular, maybe. So this is where I just start to diagram, uh, start doodling uh, to figure out, uh, make, to, to try to make sure that I understand what the question is saying. It's saying experimental jet rocket travels around the Earth along its equator just above its surface. All right, so I have Earth here. Mm. Um, oh, let me imagine that I'm looking at from the North Pole. So let's say this is North Pole. So the equator is actually this uh, kind of uh, the rim of this circular looking thing. Uh, by the way, because just because sometimes I joke about uh, flat Earth stuff, I do believe Earth is actual globe. So uh, I'm not don't believe in flat Earth. Um, sometimes I joke about it, but I don't. <laughs> Anyways, so that's your killer. So this is the path of the experimental jet rocket. It's traveling around the Earth along its equator. So this is the path of the rocket, and this is where I say, oh, so it is moving in a circle. So it is going to have, and the thing about the centripetal acceleration and circular motion is that whenever something is moving in a circle, you have to recognize that it is accelerating. And the amount of acceleration is given by the, that centripetal acceleration formula. That as this uh, jet is ex, uh, moving in a circle, it's uh, accelerating towards the center of the circle. That's what centripetal means. And that amount of acceleration is given by V squared, the tangential speed squared divided by the R or the radius of the circle. So it says, uh, at what speed must the jet travel if the magnitude of its acceleration is 1.8 G? So in this expression, A is equal to V squared over R it's telling me what A is. It's telling me that that's 1.8 G or approximately 18 meter per second squared. Um, so that's the acceleration. And uh, it's telling you to assume Earth's radius. And I guess what you have to realize is that if it's uh, uh, just above its surface, this is such a large number, it's a 6 million meters. So if it's just above the surface, like if it's above 100 meters or whatever, it's basically the radius of the Earth is the radius R here. So this is the um, radius uh, of the circle that it's traveling in. So you get a, so you get a single equation, uh, two, you know two of the quantities. So it's a simple matter of solving for V. Uh, solve for V, plug in the numbers, that'll get you that there. And um, so you will see circular motion again in, uh, in the next uh, few weeks. I think, um, so your exam one covers through just before circular motion. Circular, uh, so Newton's law problems, including circular motion is the one thing not covered in your exam one. So you'll see uh, centripetal force problems right after your exam one. 
So you'll see it again soon. And really with the centripetal acceleration and circular motion, the kind of the trickiest thing is just how sneaky they are. You were expecting to see acceleration and there it is because the thing involved the circular motion.